Hey, it's B. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today for you, I'm going to do a, please excuse the cat. <laughs> I'm going to do a plant tour. Um, so we have lots of plants. Um, I got really into plants probably two years ago and um, I've only added to my collection um, and I've also buried a lot of good little soldiers. <laughs> Part of plant parenthood is a process of elimination, just learning what plants you can have, what you can't have, what you're good at. And um, you're never going to get that Hoya to live, Bianca, so you should probably give up. <laughs> um, so we have quite a few on our patio. Um, we have a lot inside. I'll show you the plant that I've managed to keep alive the longest. Don't know what I'm doing to do that or what, I, what I've done to deserve its love, but I appreciate it. Um, and you'll see some plants that I'm rehabbing outside as well um, because we have cats and they love eating plants specifically. She won't eat her cat food, but she'll eat my Fetonia. Um, so without any further delay, let's get to it. So welcome to my porch uh, where we have a ton of our plants here. Hi, Car. Um, so I guess we'll start with these guys. Um, it's Florida, it's been raining, <laughs> no surprise. Um, so Steven's mom actually gave us these lilies and uh, there used to be nothing in this pot and then just a very dead and dying plant in this pot. So we did go ahead and um, put some lily bulbs in there. They haven't flowered quite yet, um, but they will be, these grew so fast, like within days, absolutely crazy. A um, couple succulents, um, I'm not sure what this one's called. Uh, we don't give it a lot of water, give it some uh, nice sunlight. Um, this one, <laughs> see, you know how you, like a, it's learning, it's a learning curve. Uh, this was a um, cactus flower plant, like a rose or something. This actually is the plant that uh, was in our pots outside, but has since um, been removed. And it's um, kind of coming back to life. It looks pretty good. Um, so we don't do much to it. Um, maybe a little bit of water uh, once a week, but that's pretty much it. I believe this is a kind of pothos. Um, it's variegated. I don't know a lot about my plants, you guys. I'm so sorry. Steven's mom gave us this. She also gave us this guy. And it's great. It's got, um, it has like leaves that are fuzzy. And something I know about leaves that are fuzzy is that you don't want them to get wet. It actually ruins the fuzz and it'll, um, kill the plant. So, um, you don't want to wet the leaves ever. You always wet the soil. Uh, same with this guy. It's a kind of cactus. Um, it has like very fuzzy, fun looking leaves. Um, and it has a baby right now. Uh, I'm very proud of her. Look at her, she's so cute. Can I zoom in? Look how cute. Ooh, that out of focus baby. And then this guy, again, not really sure what he is, but we water him once a week and he loves us. So <laughs> this is a corn plant. He's actually pretty large and leaning a little bit because I transplanted him. Um, I actually got him from Home Depot and <laughs> the plant wasn't really fully rooted. So I think it's rooted now because it's starting to grow like new leaves and the leaves are gorgeous. You can kind of see it in the video. Like it's got this yellow variation with the green and it looks really pretty, especially in the sunlight. This was catnip. 
Um, the cat destroyed it, but we've got new cat lip, nip leaves growing and catnip is good for uh, cats, but it's also great for people. Um, if you didn't know, you can make catnip into a tea and it's actually incredibly calming and soothing. Uh, fantastic for, for before bed. This is my string of bananas. The lighting out here is pretty shitty. I'm sorry guys. Um, but this is my string of bananas and as the name suggests, it has a string and these are little banana guys. It's so cute. Um, it honestly, because it's like a succulent, I don't give it a lot of water. Um, maybe water it like once every two weeks, if that, um, and it's been doing fantastic. It's been growing lots of new tendrils. It's very happy. Um, this is a kind of cactus that Steven's mom gave us. I don't remember what it's called. I don't believe it was the mother of millions because those are a little smaller. Um, but let me see if I can focus. Hello. Um, but what's great about it is that it's been rooting. So it's doing good. And that's actually its mother leaf right there that died. Uh, this is a, Stephen's mom calls it a, a belly plant because it has this really cute, like little belly right here. Um, it actually has gorgeous red flowers. We water this maybe once a week. I'm going to get partial sunlight. Same thing with our arrowhead plant. Arrowhead plants, oh, it's rooting in here. <laughs> arrowhead plants are pretty easy I'm actually really sad my um, cat killed one of them um, but this one's cute I just I had a pink variegated one um, but this guy's gorgeous look at those look at that color and um, this is our purple waffle not to be confused with blue waffle that's not this kind of channel um, <laughs> but it's a really cute plant with really dark leaves that have like a purple underbelly um it's a drama plant and what i mean by that is that if you don't water it it'll let you know <laughs> it will wilt <laughs> um immediately but all you have to do is give it a little bit of water and it perks right back up um this is my snake plant it started out with like maybe two leaves um and now it is a big bitch look at her um snake plants are really easy probably the easiest plant they don't require a lot of light they don't require a lot of um watering like you can forget these exist and it's fine um so i suggest if you're a beginner get you one of these they're very rewarding like look at this baby um another kind of cactus i'm really bad at succulents i don't know what they're called um, like here's another one. Look how itty bitty. <laughs> uh, this is a jewel orchid. Um, I am terrible with orchids and I personally think orchids without blooms are hideous, but we've got this baby. Um, it's a jewel orchid. It's actually incredibly, incredibly easy to take care of. Uh, partial sunlight, um, water it maybe twice a week. Um, and you will be rewarded once it roots um, and <laughs> grows a good size you'll be rewarded with these beautiful delicate white blooms um we've also got and i tried cleaning her up a little bit today this is a blue star fern um ferns i have found are really difficult to keep alive inside unless it's like in the bathroom with plenty of light um Ferns can do good in partial sunlight, um, but they thrive on humidity, they thrive on water, they thrive on attention. So you do have to bear that in mind. Ferns are a lot of work. Um, in Florida, they do do very well outside. So you can pl place this bad boy outside, leave it be, it's totally fine. Um, let's move on, shall we? 
So this is a cute little table <laughs> with cute little plants. Um, this is another one of those cactus things. It's not doing as great a job of rooting, so maybe I need to put some rooting powder on it. I did put a mother of millions little clippings in here. This, this is the craziest succulent. It is so hairy. We don't water it like at all, but it feels like a fleece blanket. Like it is so fuzzy, uh, like this camera quality. Oh my God. Um, this is a Fetonia. Uh, Fetonias are gorgeous. They can be very variegated, um, like this one. I used to have yellow leaves too, but unfortunately my cat loved this one and murdered it, but I brought it back to life. Look, that's like one of the residual leaves from her killing it. But look how beautiful, I love the colors. We've also got this plant that I don't know what it is. <laughs> Steven's mom gave it to us. Um, she actually propagated it in some water. She was gonna use it for butterflies and um, it got great roots. So she put it in some soil for us and they do reward you with some gorgeous purple flowers. I just know what it's called. So this is my pride and joy only because it's grown so big and so fast so quickly. This is a Monterra, a Monstera um, and a Nasani, I believe it's pronounced. I'm really bad at the Latin names, um, but a lot of people call them Swiss cheese plants because of the holes. Um, this bad boy requires, again, minimal work. Um, I don't like to work hard for my plants, I'll be honest. I missed it twice a week. I water it once a week um, and it's been doing great partial sunlight and it does fantastically this is a just a shit ton of aloe vera <laughs> um this is an avocado tree look at it oh, leaves. so this is going to be a tree one day um if we buy a house we are planting this so it becomes a full tree um this is i believe she said it was a passion fruit plant but i'm not really sure um it's been growing quite a bit since i got it um, it requires literally zero attention. So does that guy. Like, they're fine. <laughs> so, those are the plants outside. Let's bring you in. So, we really only have a few plants inside. One is going to be our crown jewel, our pink princess philodendron. Um, Steven's mom actually got her as she was a cutting um, and has grown tremendously like look at that pink that is gorgeous um i've also got a very great gated croton um crotons require lots of water um we have a sansevieria here she requires nothing <laughs> just leave her be the cat will just destroy her but it's fine um and then that's a dead air plant rest in peace bud <laughs> again learning curve We've got our rattlesnake plant. This is actually the plant that I've had the longest. Um, she is very easy. I missed her twice a week, partial sunlight, and a good watering about once a week. Um, this is a type of peperomia. Um, I water this once or twice a week, depending on how hot it's been. I could probably use to uh, stand to water it again. Um, here soon, um, but it's been giving me lots of little babies. I love it. And look, we're gonna cat shoot it. <laughs> uh, this is a coral cactus. Pretty low maintenance. Doesn't really require a whole lot. And then, oh, there's a new leaf. Ah, we've got. They call them the mini monstera. It's a type of philodendron, and you can see why. It's got this really cute leaf um, that is very reminiscent of a monstera. Let's see. Um, but it's a philodendron. Um, it grows pretty long, almost vine-like, and it's been doing wonderfully, as you can see. Look at that little leaf right there. Oh my goodness. 
So here, there you have it. Um, that is pretty much all the plants that we have. Um, always gonna work on some more <laughs> uh, where there's room. Um, it's quarantine. There's not much else to do but buy plants and look at them. Um, so I appreciate you guys coming on this journey with me. I don't know a ton about plants, so like that was obvious. Um, but we've managed to keep quite a few of them alive and thriving. Um, you know, it's a lot of guesswork. Um, if you notice that your plant's starting to yellow or brown or get crispy, maybe it's time to give it more water, maybe give it less sun. Um, if you notice that your plant's like really droopy and gross and like the soil's always wet, maybe water it less. Um, it's, <laughs> there's a science to it, but sometimes it's a lot of guesswork too. Um, but Florida is great for houseplants because we're always humid. It feels disgusting outside and the plants love it. So see you guys next time on the next one. See ya.